All right, guys, so I am back with a real quick video. Now, maybe over a year and some change ago, uh, maybe even two years now, we took a look at this Kiwi Photos hand grip for my iPhone, right? And I've been rocking this grip and this setup for my iPhone for a long, long time, okay? A long time. And that's probably the main reason why I don't do a lot of iPhone uh, setup videos as far as vlogging because my setup is the same. And for those that's been following for a long time, you know that this is the exact same setup from a long, long time ago, and I just haven't changed it because it works perfectly fine. I still got the Ulanzi tripod right here that extends, and I still got the Kiwi Photos uh, camera grip with the release, well, with the shutter button right here on the top, and sometimes I switch out these mics between the Boya and this Rode as of late, all right? So this setup is the same, um, but on that video, I still get a lot of questions. And a lot of people ask me which other grips would I be interested in in this price range if I didn't have this grip, you know, because they always say like, oh, you got this grip, this grip, and that grip. And I always say, hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. This grip right here is totally fine. As you can see, I still use it. I don't have another grip. It's the only grip that I have. So obviously it does the job and it does it very, very well. All right. So in this video today, just so I can have a video to answer the question for people that, you know, post that question to me, I'm going to show you two other grips on Amazon uh, that I would use in place of this one if I didn't have it, all right? And they're gonna be within the same, you know, price range between 15 to 20 bucks. But it's two real little inexpensive grips that I would use if I didn't have this grip. But again, I recommend this one, all right? So with that, just so I can make sure if somebody asks me that question, I can point them to this video on my channel. We're gonna go ahead, jump on the computer, and I'll show you guys those two grips and we'll go through them on the computer and then we'll get out of here for today. All right, so the first one we got right here is just the one that I was talking about earlier in the video, which is my Kiwi Photos one. This is the original one that I have. This one, again, is only $16.99. And like I said, guys, this is the standard for, you know, the phone grip for me. Uh, it's the cheapest one. Um, it's the only one that I currently own right now. But I just wanted to go ahead and show it to you guys one more time right here. It's only $16.99. All right, so let's move to the first one outside of this one that I think you guys can take a look at. And that's gonna be this one right here. Now this one here is called, I can't even say that right, but I'm gonna say Air Bees or something like that. But just keep in mind, there's a whole slew of these ones right here with just a different name. So I just chose this one, uh, but you can find you can find this with many different names, all right? So this one's 19 bucks. And the cool thing about this one is that it's MagSafe compatible. All right, meaning that it's gonna uh, magnetize to the back of your device just like this, it's gonna magnetize to the back and you can charge up your device using the USB-C. And on top of that, you can charge up the shutter button via the USB-C. So you can tell that using the Kiwi Photos, which is the original one that I have, there has been a few that has come out since that time that you know have been upgraded. And this is one of the ones that's been upgraded. The Kiwi Photos, the shutter button uh, uses a battery, but now you kind of moving into the realm of being able to charge it via USB-C. Um, and this is a really, really little cool one because it's MagSafe. You can stand your phone up on it, um, charge it up, do all of that stuff right through the USB-C hub uh, and still be able to have that camera feel. So this is another good one. Uh, this one is only 19 bucks. Uh, and scrolling through here just to show y'all so you can see it right here, a little bit of information about it. I'm not gonna go too deep into it because it's kind of self-explanatory as, as, as um, into what it can do, um, as to what it can do. Uh, but yeah, right here, this is this is what it's looking like right here, all right? So that is the first one technically, but we're gonna just go ahead and say two because we talked about the Kiwi Photos, the original one. All right, so then uh, the next one on my list would be this one right here by Ulanzi. This is the CG01, all right? This is the CG01. Uh, and what's cool about this one is that it's, you know, it's 19 bucks, um, but what's cool about this one um, is, uh, you know, it has the grip, but it also has like a little mirror right here on the front. Uh, and they kind of marketing this uh, saying, ladies, it has a mirror so you can use it uh, to touch yourself up or whatever the case. But at the same time, you can still use that mirror to kind of set your shot up, too, if you're using, you know, when you're using your rear facing camera. So uh, that's another cool look right here. This one still. Well, all of them have cold shoe mounts, uh, but this one has a cold shoe mount so you can put, you know, your mic and so forth on it. And it has a spot to hide the charging cable because the shutter button, the little release button. Uh, is USB-C and it is you know rechargeable so again you don't have to have a battery on the inside um, you could just charge it up so that's another good look right there um, and I think it's a really cool little look and that is the second one and again 
well, third one, but that's $19.95 and it has a 5% off coupon. So again, this is, you know, two other ones outside of the uh, Kiwi photos that I would take a look at. And for my third and final one, and I got a bonus one for you, for my third and final one would be the CGO2. So this is an upgraded version of the one we just looked at. But now this one's going to run you 24, but they do got a 5% off coupon. Now this one here, um, what I like about it is the fact that they changed that little mirror and they made it an actual light. And I think that's really cool. So now you have a light um, just in case you're in the dark and so forth. You could turn the light on and you're good to go as you can see right here. So I think that's a really cool look. It's also USB-C to charge up the shutter and all of that good stuff. Uh, and on top of that, I think it even charges your device when you plug it in. Let's go and see. But I think it even charges your device. Uh, we, no, no, I'm sorry. It doesn't charge your device because it's not MagSafe. Um, but it does charge up the shutter button. So I'm, I'm kind of incorrect on that. But it does charge the shutter button. So again, and I know that's only 24 bucks, And I know it's a little bit outside of that 16 you know, 15 to $20 range. But $24, 5% uh, off coupon. Really can't beat that. So that's the one, two, three. That's my three right there. And then a bonus one is uh, we're going to go back to this one right here. And the bonus one is this one. Now, this one is a little bit more expensive. So, again, this is just a bonus one just in case you want to spend a couple of extra bucks, you know what I'm saying, and get yourself something nice. But right here for 36 bucks, they got one right here. Uh, and what's cool about this one right here is that it has a 3300 milliamp hour battery. So the grip will actually charge your device. So you can charge up the hand grip, use the shutter button, and you can charge up the hand grip and let it charge your device via MagSafe. So that's a good look at 36 bucks with a $3 off coupon. Now that one is a little bit more expensive. It's outside of my 15 to $20 range. But again, that's a real cool look right there in itself. So that was a quick little video on you know, just three other ones uh, that I would recommend outside of the Kiwi Photos. But again, the Kiwi Photos is the one that I use. That's the one that I recommend. And again, this video is for anybody that comments and asks me about, you know, my iPhone setup, ask me about this grip and which other grips would I use outside of the Kiwi Photos if I was still into, you know, trying to find a new grip. These would be, you know, the three that I would really take a look at. Even this one right here for 36, I probably would get that one because I would like the fact that it could charge my device. So. That one would probably be the one that I'm leaning to, but to keep it cheap, I would stay within that Kiwi Photos uh, and the Ulanzi CGO2 would probably be my, my pick. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully this video has been helpful to you guys, man. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's been your man, Jay, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.